Welcome to First Minister's Questions Review by Three Men and a Blog. As it says on the tin. Exactly. Well, we'll post them anyway. <laughs> post to the van. And uh, regular guests today are Norrie Stewart, Phil Attridge, and myself, Stuart Lockhead. And today was slightly different. It wasn't First Minister's Questions, it was Deputy First Minister's Questions. First Minister Alex Salmon, I believe, is in California. Not quite sure where Chicago? Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. Is that the Gulf? Is it the Gulf? Unless he's nipped across to California for some other reason. Oh, yeah. Well, okay. A, he was interviewed in the LA Times, but you could be right. I'm he's obviously not going on a David Letterman. He's in the United States. Well then, gentlemen, um, First Minister's questions, as I said, is a bit different. We'd uh, feisty Nicola there. Holding, holding the fort. Um, let's, give, let's give Phil a, a, a chance first to analyse the performances. Well, that's, there was only two real performances, and that was Nicola and uh, Joanne. Um, and I thought, actually, Joanne's um, performance was very good. For once, it wasn't stupid jokes and um, everything. She was trying to defend her last speech and um, Labour's about turn on... On, um, on things they believe Universal in. benefits. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, about everything term. socialist. Yeah, 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 throwing everything socialist because, well, because now, I think it's because now, because everybody associates it with the SAP. But I thought Nicola was really good. It's the expression on her face. She doesn't have to do the, the smart alecky bit at all. She just says, so she looks around. It's, yeah, I thought they were very good. The content was absolutely brilliant. This whole idea that you were getting from Joanna about open honest debate, sorry for the language, but bollocks, Labour does not do honest, open debates, and um, when they're talking about having a, a consultation, where they've already quite obviously made it up, because Nicola got it right on the button, when she says she came out with that whole speech, you got a huge mass of, um, from Who Labour Party members. Who came out with the speech? Joanne, you know the speech where she did the about turn, and okay. then you got a massive stuff on the Twitter RT and everywhere else from a lot of Labour people, um, and then you see the look on on uh, Nicola's face when she said, immediately then uh, the Labour Party set the spin doctors on that. Um, well, I didn't really say that. Well, I didn't really say that. Well, I didn't really say that, uh, or I didn't really mean it. All right. Well, what about what about uh, we've got two other people. We've got Willie Rennie and Ruth Davidson. What about Ruth? Well, Ruth Davidson. Well, I thought that was really quite good. Well, not just Ruth Davidson. You had Murdo as well. All who agree with the Labour. This is absolutely great. They're really happy that Labour's on board with them. You know, uh, on their Dutch auction. Um, Willie Rennie. What do they mean by Dutch auction? Selling everything off, obviously, isn't it? No, no, I don't. Uh, this I don't. was a Dutch auction. What they're, it's, a, it's a reference to the manifestos before the last election. Otherwise, how populist can you make your policies? Oh. In other words, how many giveaways can you promise in your manifesto before an election? The Dutch auction. A Dutch auction is. Well, that's what they mean by it. Yeah, that's what they mean. They, they mean Dutch basically auction. promising the air more, 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 more and more and more. 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 Benefits, you could say, if we elect me and I'll give you this. Yeah, but, but I'll tell you, the one thing that actually got me from all of them, or particularly the Tories and Labour, just with that whole thing, and, and it's just something you smell, you can't see, you can't put your finger on it, but they're really worried. Okay. They're but, really, really right. worried. So you, what about Ruth's performance? Um, mm, middling. Middling. Mid no, Willie. Well, I, I forgot what he was going on about, actually. Was but I do birthday? know he was, it was his birthday. Oh, well, we can't be unkind to him on his birthday, can we? And it was Nicola's dad's birthday. I think he was a bit thrown there. Yeah, it was. Nori, <laughs> performances. Um, Lamont was better this week. Mm. She definitely was. Yeah. Delivered well. Still spent the whole time reading, which she needs to get over that. It does, I mean... It, she looks like she's a substitute for somebody else, which is reading. Um, she made a speech, as she seems to always do, and then basically went, and what do you think of that? Yeah, that's true. You know, I mean, she didn't ask a question. She Not basically fair. laid out her position and did the, what do you think of that? She needs to learn to ask a question that, that puts them <coughs> on the back foot. That is the point of the First Minister's question, yeah. is to put the First Minister or the Deputy First Minister they're on the spot on a serious issue. No, oh, well, thought, that never happened. I thought, <laughs> I thought this week she, she did well. I did notice her at one point. I mean, she looked like a fishwife fighting somebody over the last fag. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, 
you know, she, she needs she needs to be able to keep the fire there because she's good when she's fired up, but she needs to be a little bit more, in fact, a lot more grown up, a lot more statesman like, statesman, states person like. Oh, okay. Nicola was brilliant. She just virtually swatted her, her away. I mean, she was. She was brilliant. I mean, she you know. looked exact. She had that exasperated look, as if it was a naughty child in the same room. Yes. What What really surprised me was that they've obviously decided the way to do this is personal attack. They do it with Salmond every week. They attacked her personally by suggesting she was rich and therefore, she, and she shouldn't have a free bus pass. Three times she mentioned well, it. Two hundred thousand. This. 200,000, 200,000, three times. Well, I wonder how much she gets. But that, I mean, well, let's find out because, I'm sorry, she's not exactly on 24,000 a year, is she? Definitely not. She's on more than that. So has she got the right to do that? Um, it's a good point. I mean, it is a valid point, but it applies to everybody that sits in the Scottish Parliament. They're all on three times the average wage, mm -hmm. you know. Not only so that, yeah. but what it's, about it's a ridic what ridiculous thing to do. So she gave a good performance, Nicola, yeah? Very good. Oh, uh, yeah. Very good. And she, she differenti differentiates herself from Alex Salmond. Her delivery is different. She doesn't smirk <laughs> the way Salmond does, you know. And it, as Phil said, or sorry, you said rather, I mean, it was a bit like, look, sorry, you're not in the same mm. league as me. Um, throw what you want at me, bring it on, quote yeah. unquote, yeah. Wendy yeah. Alexander. You, know? you can see her um, training as a solicitor, as a lawyer comes through. I mean, she's concise, she's, she's actually very statesperson-like. Um, there's, mm. you know, she, yeah, she is, you can see Nicola Sturgeon in, in any kind of setting. Nicola. Nicola, Nicola, whatever. <laughs> you sound like, like a, bloody, a, a, bloody a, a, a Irish. Irish. London Irish. Uh, London Irish. Uh, the other two, the, Ruth, the, the other, the bit players. Ruth, yeah, I mean, Ruth, Ruth her delivery is excellent. Yeah. The content suffers because she's a Tory and she has to turn the line. <coughs> um, but I, again, I mean, she's as good as she ever was and I think she'll get better. She just doesn't have anything to get her teeth into. And poor old uh, Willie Rennie. Well, actually, I, I thought Willie was quite good today, for Willie. Um, it was a question that, no, that, well, the issue had come up this last week, I think. Yeah, it's about the, week, the very young kids. It's an early intervention. Yeah, I mean, but he came out with a stat that I think everybody watching went, what? 1%? The Tories are going to give 40% of all two-year-olds in England Free nursery education. Yeah, but they'll probably give them five hours a year no, or something. No, what it'll be is a liberal democrat aspiration. Yeah. And they'll have agreed to it, but it just won't happen. Well, no, it'd be nice. It was probably a line from their they've just had a conference, so it's yeah, probably from well, that. Well, it'll be an aspiration. It, it won't happen. I mean, you know. No, it's probably a very, very this. tiny amount of hours that they're giving to all these kids down there, but it probably doesn't add up. Forty percent, they said, or something like it was. But it probably won't add up to the amount of us given to the one percent here. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I, th I think it's him having a wee push. You know, us liberal democrats aren't actually. No, they, not they, that the, bad. Notion, the notion that uh, we give the, a shit. The, the, the Scottish uh, system is paying for one percent of no. two-year-olds. Just sounds preposterous. Anyway, I, well, it's, it's, it's not something. It's, 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 it sounds it's, like a figure that that, that, that yeah. makes no sense. Yeah, but figures. Let you me can just do think. Let me, figures. let me think about what the performance. I'll take three. I think Joanne was a performance. Was was was. Yes, no, you summed it up. She keeps reading her speech. Um, what's what worries me a lot about reading her, her speech is it doesn't sound as though it's her speech. It isn't. And uh, but and she did deliver it a lot better. She was. Uh, I think she'd been she rehearsing for this week. You've got to bear in mind she she's only made one mistake. Did she? She only made one mistake. But let me point out that this week she uh, she's been out, almost invisible for months on any big question. She appeared on Tuesday, made her speech. She refused to take any questions and answers after the speech, and she vanished from the the media again until she appears in first minister's questions. Well, no, this is all not. rehearsed. She did. She did. She turned up on the late Newsnight. night and um, Scottish politics. 
but it was exactly the same thing she said. She answered no questions. She did stumble her way to the, the trident question. And what did she confess? Well, she kept saying, it, what was it? it it's a non-question. It's a non-question. Right. But it's a vote loser. She, she, tr she, tried, point, she tried to justify my, my, my point is this: jobs. It's yeah. about jobs. Yeah, but my point is this: that it, 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 it's been a very rehearsed week. Yes. Uh, and, and nothing was must be allowed to go wrong, which is basically why she was she stuck to a script more in more ways than one. Yeah, she did. Nicola, as I said, she seemed to just she rose above. What, what was she knew, knew what was coming. She's very, very capable of dealing with it. And it was, and that kind of exasperated face. And I don't think a bit of a you know. Did you see a reading? Anything? And, and if she was, you never noticed. Yeah. And then yeah. uh, Willie Rennie, I, he was completely nonplussed when he got wished happy <laughs> birthday. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know. Uh, Ruth, Ruth always does sound comes across as confident all the time, yeah. but there is a, there's never any meat. There's never any content. But in she there, did really. manage to get across the fact that the Tories are very we are welcoming of Joanne's. Joining yeah. them. Joining them. So, um, you know. So let's run, let's run through scores. No. Wait, can, I, can I mention one thing before we get to that? What's Murdo Fraser playing at? Very last question, uh, Deputy Minister's questions, allows Nicola to turn around and say, we've improved the position from 50% to 70%. It gives the SNP a score to go out on. What's that about? Well, if you looked at Murdo, Murdo wanted to change the name of the Scottish Conservatives, right, because he thought it was toxic, in a country that's quite likely to become independent. Right. No, 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 it's probably got a bit of that in his, and he's, he's, he's putting his profile, um, and he's obviously managed to stick the knife in somewhere else. Well, he's, I mean, he's still a Tory. He must have known what the stats were. Have we got a Tory that's about to jump ship? Not that. It's not that. No, I don't think no, so. There's probably so. more. Or actually, maybe there, there could be something else. <laughs> maybe he shouldn't have taken any notice of the guy that gave him the question in the first place. Yeah, but he certainly, but, I mean, he certainly did welcome earlier this week Joanne's speech. <laughs> yes, <laughs> on Twitter. Well, welcome to the Tory Club, Joanne. Yes. Um, uh, so, yeah. Well, let's get try and get some performance scores because um, let, let's let's change the thing slightly. Let's start with Nicola because she was she was the new one to the party in the sense. I I mean I put her right up there. I, I definitely, in fact, I don't think she stumbled once, did she? No. She didn't look like she was even thinking about stepping onto the back foot. I mean I I would give her ten out of ten, and just like Alex Salmon, I mean, part of that ten out of ten might be it's nice to have a new voice there. Say nine out of ten, but she, as like Salmon, is in a different league. It is amazing, really, to to watch her. It's uh, you know, Salmon gets run over by a bus tomorrow. Nicola's there, and it, you think things will just carry on as as before? No, I think they might actually improve. Let's have some scores. We've ten, um, we've got ten for that. What about coming? Joanne, down? I'm going to score Joanne high. Um, I'm going to give her a seven this week because, mm. although. I mean, I, I believe that the speech was contrived to give them some platform to argue against the SNP. She did it well. She did it well. I wish she would get over this reading the script thing. Willie Rennie, I thought Willie was quite confident this week. I thought he came across fairly well. It's a birthday boy. <laughs> he did, as, as Stuart said, he did kind of let his jaw drop when he was uh, giving yeah, it. He a, turned all giggly. Like, uh, yeah. So we'll give, we'll give Rennie a... Rennie. Uh, we'll give him... We'll give him a six. Wow. I think it's his uh, highest ever score. Yeah. Ruth Davidson I'll give a six to as well. I mean, she was confident, robust, had a smile on her face, put her point. But I'll reiterate what, what I've said. Every time we've done this, the Tories and the Liberal Democrats, notice I'm not including Labour in this, the Tories and the Liberal Democrats have the problem of not really having any ammunition because of what's happening in the coalition. Lamont, I think, has actually made their own ammunition. I think that they couldn't find anything to throw at them, so they're going to use... Well, as I say, I think it was a, it was a plan 
planned, the whole week has been planned, not just this yeah. standing up and... Was it accused. planned because they knew Alex wouldn't be in the chamber? The timing perhaps might have something to do with it. Phil, scores? Well, the first two I'd give exactly the same as Nori. I mean, Nicola actually thinks she's better than Salmon because she doesn't have to carry that baggage of Salmon. She just says she's total confidence, a master of a brief. Uh, I've never seen the look at anyone, but I mean, the obstacle aside from her other ministers, just to nail things down, 10. Um, if I could give her more than 10, I would. And Joanne, yeah, a 7. I'd give her more if she didn't have her eyes glued to the table. Um, I mean, that's why if it was her speech, and she'd written that, because it's always a speech, then then I'd, then it's quite up with someone else's writing it. The other two, I'd give a 5 each. I mean, just, you know, because um, there wasn't really much in the way of content. Or I might actually give Willie 6. I'll give him an extra one for his birthday. Six, it's, okay. <laughs> uh, Nicola, I think she was, she was immense, um, but I think she's, she could do even better, so I'm going to give her a nine. Um, Joanne, I don't think she's worth, worth of six. Uh, uh, to me, it was like to say, this, it was all this part, part of a bigger plan. She didn't really think, she never thinks in her feet, and, mm. and it was, it, it was, Yet yeah, she didn't react to anything Nicola said, so I'll give it a four. Willie completely blown away, but he, he almost he was almost charming with his. <laughs> so I'll give him a four. And thinking of Ruth, I don't know. Ruth become like she's a like a an, she's like a robot. She stands up and delivers the same face, the same body language, the same. She's always mm -hmm. confident. But you know that Ruth, if if something was thrown at her. I'm confident that she could buy it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll I think it, she, she can think on I'll her feet. Her, I'll give it a five. 